Alright guys, Matt here back with TNM product reviews. So today I have a review on another Olight. Um, this is actually going to be on a weapon light. So right here we have the Olight PL Mini 2 Valkyrie. Uh, this is on my Smith & Wesson shield. It is empty. Um, so this is one of uh, a few of Olight's weapon light series lights. Uh, like I said, this is the PL Mini 2 Valkyrie. So let me go ahead and take it off the shield here. And we'll set that off to the side. Um, so small form factor. This is for a, um, a smaller form, it, form carry pistol, uh, whether it's compact, subcompact. Uh, so as you can see, single light, no laser. Uh, it has the little switches. They're on either side here. Uh, and it attaches via a what I call a ratchet rail. Um, so when you actually order the the light, um, it comes with the light itself and this attachment right here, which has a little locking mechanism to lock the light into place and it's to lock the rail into place. So there is the add-on rail that I've purchased for my shield. We'll do a review on that another time. Uh, great product from uh, Recover Tactical. So this is the actual mount for the PL Mini 2. Um, it comes with a Glock mount as well as a 1913 mount. Uh, the 1913 mount does fit the Recover Tactical rail for anybody that has a Smith & Wesson shield and is looking for... Uh, that's the Gen 1. It's not the easy. I don't think the Gen 2 has a rail on it either. Um, but if you go through Recover Tactical, at least for the 9 and I think the 40, uh, you can purchase the rail. It just clips onto the shield. And like I said, I'll go over a better review with that. Um, but with it, you put the 1913 adapter inside the mount. And this will actually mount up to the shield just fine. And then the light itself just kind of slides in on the base. You just line it up, slide it in. And then you just flip the latch on the side to lock it in place. And it locks in secure. I've fired, um, I don't know, probably 100 rounds or so. Since I've owned this light, probably 100, 150 rounds through my through my 9, uh, through the Smith & Wesson. And I haven't had a problem with it coming loose or anything like that. So specs on the light, um, like I said, this is the PL Mini 2 Valkyrie. It is IPX6, um, so a little different from their, their handheld lights. Um, overall weight is going to be 2.57 ounces, length is 2.07 inches. Um, it has one single mode, it is 600 lumens. So it is, you either have a momentary on by just tapping the switch, or if you, or I'm sorry, by holding the switch, if you just tap the switch, it is a, it's an always on. Um, so that 600 lumens should run for about one minute. And then I, it's a little confusing, but I believe it will step down to about 60 lumens for 60 minutes. Light intensity is 2,500 candela. And your colors you're looking at, black, desert tan, and OD green. So I have the black version here. I know it's weird. Everything else I've been showing you so far is desert tan, but black for on the shield. So let me go ahead and show you and so I'll put this back one here. Yet again, firearm is safe. And so it's pretty simple to install. Just got to figure it back out here. I don't take it off very often. Okay, it is unlocked. So what you do, Find your rail, set it up, and then the light actually just slides on until it hits the, in my case, the trigger guard, and then your light is always right here. Or if you have your second hand up, I can just barely touch it with that thumb. So that's going to be the PL Mini 2 in there mounted on the pistol. Now, some people don't like it because it does stick past the end of the barrel here just enough that it does annoy some people, but for me, honestly, I don't care. 
Um, I have a custom built holster for it that was made for this firearm with that light. That little bit of overplay or overhang doesn't bother me. Um, now, battery wise, this is a rechargeable battery. All they have listed is that it is a customized lithium ion battery and it is actually one of their magnet charge. So um, I don't have one with me right now, but there is a, a puck with a USB cord on it. That puck is magnetized specifically to this light. Um, I'll go over some videos with some other lights that are magnetically chargeable from Olight. Their chargers will not work on this pistol light. Um, this one is reverse polarity compared to them. So it has a special proprietary charger. Um, but it just ma it's magnetic, snaps on, charges, and on the side here, right behind the O-Light, I don't know if I can get a, get my camera, yep, right there, that little dot, when this thing is getting low, that little dot will be red. Um, so that's how you know that it is, uh, it needs charged. So, all right guys, we're gonna click the lights off here and I'll show you the light output on the PL Mini 2 Valkyrie and we'll be right back with you. All right guys, so here we go again. Uh, this is gonna show the light output. Uh, this time it's gonna be for the, the Olight weapon light. This is gonna be the PL Mini Valkyrie 2. Now this one only has one level. There's no strobe option, no SOS or beacon option. So this one here, as soon as you turn it on, you get 600 lumens. This is gonna run for one minute, and then it's gonna drop down 60 lumens for 60 minutes. Um, so it will eventually step down, but there is only one light level setting for this. And this is the, the Olight PL Mini Valkyrie 2. This is the one that I run on my Smith & Wesson Shield with a recover tactical rail to actually attach it. So great little weapon light. If you have a compact or subcompact pistol, it fits real nice. All right guys, that's all I got for you today. Later.